I am one of the respiratory consultants. I am going to show you how to set up pressure support and CPAP. So you need a NIV machine. Here we have Nippy 3 Plus. In our trust we would have two more machines. One is Nippy 4 and also a V60 and that is only on our respiratory wards. You need a tube that will connect with this machine and also to the patient who will have mask on. So you need a mask. You will find a measurement for that mask. You need to measure it from the bridge of the nose to your mouth, keeping patient's mouth slightly open. Something like this. So once you open this, you will get mask. The mask is from inside and from outside, you can see here. If you want to give nebulizer, you need this nebulizer kit. I'm showing you here, our trust has this tube that is attached with another accessory tube. You have to detach this accessory tube and then throw it away and you need to close this hole with the knob attached. For infectious patient, we have another filter that you need to connect at this end to prevent infection coming inside. I'm a respiratory doctor and I will now tell you how to connect all the tubing together after we have understood to after we have learned how to use the machine as well as put up the mask. So the first step would be to switch on the power button and wait for a few seconds. The second step would be to choose the mode. On every machine there are four modes. We will only usually use two modes. One would be CPAP for con continuous positive airway pressure and pressure, control, uh, pressure support for BiPAP. So now we will learn how to set up the pressures while on pressure support which is BiPAP. So first to set up IPAP, we press the IPAP button and then if we want to change the pressures, we use the arrow key plus or arrow key minus to change the settings. If we set the button in the middle, that ensures the pressures set. For EPAP, you press the EPAP button and then again with the arrow keys plus and arrow keys minus, you change the pressures and we can press the middle button to set. This current machine is set at 12 and 5. This is roughly the pressure we would like you to set up for a new patient. Then you choose a backup rate. So press the backup button and then again use the arrow keys plus and arrow keys minus and press the set button. This patient's respiratory backup rate is set up at 12. The patient's backup rate should be set ideally half of his respiratory rate with a minimum of 12. Now for setting on, up on the CPAP setting, you go to mode, you select the CPAP setting which is the first setting, then you set. After that, to change the pressure, you will only use the EPAP button. If you press the EPAP button and then use the arrow keys plus and the arrow keys minus to change the settings. If you press the set button, that sets it at the specified setting. Currently, the machine is set at six centimeters of water pressure. This is a demonstration of how to attach the tubing. You take the tubing, there is a preset filter on the tubing. You attach it to the blue knob, nice and firm. 
and then on the other side of the tubing if it is a COVID patient you would use a special filter a second filter just attach it to the end and this then would connect to the mask if the patient does not have COVID infection you do not use this filter so in that case you will directly connect this to the mask once all the tubing is set up the oxygen is attached to this port over here this plug comes off and if you attach your green tubing to this port hi i'm one of the respiratory sisters and i'm actually going to show you now how to attach a mask to the niv machine and the patient First of all, I would just check my machine that it's nicely set up as prescribed by the doctor. Um, you can do this whether it's pressure support or CPAP. So you've got your tube, everything's connected. I've got this filter in place because I'm going to deliver some CPAP. Okay, so this would be my patient. I've actually measured this patient and the mask is as a large. Right, I'll first of all tell my patient exactly what we're doing, that we're going to actually sit, sit this mask over his face or her face. I'm just going to put it in front first so that the patient can actually feel the airflow on the face. You need to just make sure that it's nice, they sat at the bottom in the nape of the neck so it's nice and firm. So we're actually going to tighten these straps from the top, start from the top. Whatever you do with one side, you must do with the other. If you don't get this mass nice and straight on your patient with equal sides, then it will keep alarming. You must get your mass nice and straight. Remember not to do it too tight. Just to check, you can get your fingers down either side. So once you've actually got the mask in situ, just make sure you just check that that's nice and smoothly sat along the bottom of the mouth and there's actually no leaks around the mask. If there's any leaks, you can tighten up here on the nose rather than actually tightening on the straps. At that point, if you just check your machine that everything's okay, it's not alarming, and start going up in, in your BiPAP or your CPAP, whichever you, you need to do. Mm -hmm.